72 out here on March 31st. We're uh, having ourselves a little early summer right now. We've had the entire week like up in the 80s. And uh, I just drop it in right now while I uh, give a little update on what's going on in my life in case anybody's been wondering where the hell I've been. I'm having a little, some little financial issues, some bills I gotta take care of. So I've been working roughly 100 hours a week for the past uh, couple weeks and I'll be doing it for a couple more weeks. But I'm pretty sure I've got myself to a point where I can get things taken care of. So actually this week, it's a Saturday right now, and the shift I just got off this morning put me at 108 hours for this week. But hopefully I got good news coming because I have an interview on Thursday for one of the local emergency rooms where I'll be, if I get the job, making basically the same amount that I make on these 108 hour weeks. I will be making uh, about the same pay for about 36 hours a week in the week instead of 108. So yeah, that's kind of a no-brainer. So wish me luck on that. I hope I do good. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't want to come in there and show that I'm nervous and then not get the job. That would kind of suck. I mean, usually I'm so chill with interviews, but this is so important to get myself into a better situation. If you notice, I'm riding super mellow right now. I've uh, got my baby girl on the passenger seat and she uh, kind of last minute wanted to go with me while I go run an errand and my sissy bar is not on. And I asked if she was comfortable without sissy bar and she, she says she was, so we're giving it a try. I think she'll be okay. She's been on bikes with my dad with no sissy bar before. It's not wasn't that big of a deal. So anyway, that's what's been going on with me lately. Hopefully uh, these next few weeks of working tons and tons of overtime will subside here pretty soon. And maybe I can get some more ride time in and start being able to vlog again on a semi-regular basis. <laughs> Which I was never really much on a schedule, but... I did that little uh, little bike update earlier in the week on my uh, my air cleaner. That cylinder on my air cleaner cover broke loose, and I wasn't able to take the cover off. So what I ended up having to do was cut the cover so I could get to the three screws that hold the air cleaner onto the air intake which in turn destroyed my air cleaner cover, obviously, because I had to cut it and it destroyed my air cleaner. Um, you guys have all been awesome. Everybody is trying to find a way to help. Uh, somebody had even mentioned doing a GoFundMe page for me to get my bike fixed and, you know, I told him no, I, can, I can't do that. GoFundMe is for like life and death situations or, you know, can't afford to bury a family member type of thing I'm not gonna I got too much pride to do something like that for a want which I don't know in my mind my bike running is kind of a need for me but it's not a life or death situation so I can't I wouldn't feel right about asking people for money for something like that so that's just never gonna happen but I want to give a huge huge shout out to NC Stoney he got like right on the ball and sent me an air cleaner cover that he was not using. And his only stipulation on it was pay it forward, which I have absolutely no problem with. I'm always down. If I'm in a position to help somebody, I will always do it. So thank you, NC Stoney, you're the man. Um, like I said, I'm uh, working a lot, so 
I haven't had a chance to even put that air cleaner cover on. I've got my temporary fix going on here right now. Which, I actually, I like the way the temporary fix turned out. I'll probably throw a quick picture of it up here. I got a new Canon air filter. I had a, a gift card for the Harley store that was supposed to go to something else. So I just went and used it to get the new air cleaner. And then I took a old compact disc, spray painted it black and used it for a center, the center cover over the air cleaner. So I'm basically running a naked air filter with a compact disc on the center. Well, I'll throw a picture of that up. I, uh, I think it turned out pretty cool looking. quite honest with you I was taking my old air cleaner off so I could clean it yeah now that I got a new one on here I'm thinking yeah it definitely needed to be clean because my bikes are running so much better yeah and the one that I had on there was the Screaming Eagle dry filter which I don't know if I got hosed or not because I was told it was you know reusable washable and it just didn't need oil on it like I can in. And when I brought the filter in with me, because I want to make sure I got the right one with the holes in the right place, I showed it to them and they said, oh, that's a paper filter. You can only wash that like once or twice and that's done. So what they hooked me up with was a replacement k and it, it's, it's a Screaming Eagle made by k and So it's the, uh, the one with the, like a reddish tint on it from the oil guaranteed for life through k and A little bit more work to clean, but I'll deal with it. Especially if it's going to be better. Whoa. Hi. Man, you need to... No, it's okay. It was that lady. She almost cut us off. what just happened there is uh, somebody tried to do a lane change she almost lane changed right into us so I had to hit the front brake a little bit hard and my daughter's helmet smacked into my helmet and she was apologizing for it what do y'all think of this mercury in front of me Not a fan of the color, but it actually looks cool on that car. So, anyway, I think that's about all I got for right now. I'll go ahead and uh, cut this one off. And I will talk to y'all later. Rubber side down, shiny side up, and peace out till next time, guys.